It's a family tradition going for 88 years strong. Shriner Circus is in town, and not only will there be high-flying trapeze acts and acrobatics, there's the added bonus the circus helps support a worthy cause. KMTV reporter Jessica Ritchie has more. You've seen what happens out here in the three rings, but it's what happens behind the scenes that makes the Shrine Circus so special. The circus is full of amazing and daring feats. But right before the show, the performers take on a different role. It's the really kind of personal interactions that bring a smile to the kids' faces. Performers like Rachel Plunkett and Catherine Fields help with elephant rides, the petting zoo, or even pose as transformers. This is important to get you kind of in the circus mood, circus feel. When you go out there, you're like, woo, you're ready for what's about to happen. <laughs> kids like Kyler and Kennedy couldn't agree more. My favorite part is probably the beginning of the show where all the cops and stuff are there. The Keystone cops and clowns greet the kids outside signing autographs and taking pictures. Earlier today they made a visit to a very special little boy, a cancer patient who was hospitalized a few days before he was supposed to come to the circus. We all went and visited him while he's in the hospital, uh, cheered him up a little bit, did a little bit of magic for him. It's part of the mission of the Tangier Shriners. The circus raises money for the Tangier Shrine Center so they in turn can help the patients at Shriners hospitals. There's a lot of medical conditions for uh, children that we treat at no cost at all to the families so it's a really great cause and a fun time. We, we all enjoy it and when we come out to do this our, our heart is in it 100 percent. Jessica Ritchie, KMTV Action 3 News. Today was the last day the circus was in town but they're already prepping for next year.